morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of Barcelona. We are on our way to get some breakfast. We're looking for churros. That is a traditional breakfast here in Spain. So we're gonna we're gonna get some. And it's a little different than the typical like churros you would find in California, which we also love. We have never had this style before. I believe the focus is more on dipping them in this like thick, wonderful hot chocolate, like sort of like a drinking chocolate. And I don't I don't know if it has the cinnamon flavor to it. Like everything I've seen, it doesn't look as much like it's like sprinkled and stuff the way we have it, but we'll see. This is our first time. So it is about 7 a.m. and I would say everything has this like lovely quiet stillness you can hear a lot of birds there are people that are walking by a lot of them seem like they're more headed to work or walking a dog than just like hanging out right now what i've heard of this city is that people are typically um they stay up very late which i love and they sleep in a little bit later in the day which i also love but since our sleep is all messed up right now we're up and i was like yes let's take on the day let's see as much of the city as we can so i scheduled two tours for us one to Park Well and one to Sagrada de la Familia. Both are um, Gaudi and they're just incredible landmarks in Barcelona and they're very well known. They're, I think, maybe the top two tourist attractions of Barcelona. And we are so excited to be able to see that architecture and get a guided tour where we'll, where we'll learn a lot. There's a lot we still need to learn about Gaudi and I'm just like, I'm so awed already by what he created, so I'm really, really excited about that. We're also hoping to squeeze in a visit to the Chocolate Museum. So we are doing so much today, but I think it times out perfectly. So I'm really excited about that, and I'm including like walking time to get to places, and I think I'm including the time. We, we like to take our time at places, but I think we will be limited in time by when the place is closed, so that's good. They'll just kick us out, and then we'll make it on time to the next thing. But yeah, it's gonna be a really great day, and I'm glad we, we had the energy to wake up at 7 a.m. and just go for it because a lot of times when we travel I feel like we end up being pushed further and further. Bird noises. Being a photographer. I love it. Look at how beautiful these buildings are. Did you, did you capture it Bailey? Aww. So one thing that stands out to me on this quiet crisp morning in Gothic Quarter is that the people that we are seeing are like individuals who are clearly kind of headed to work it seems like for the most part and last night we were walking around later at night and at one point this huge group of people just so many people so many people probably like i don't know 100 150 what do you think christopher yeah it was some is a lot of people <laughs> they passed us and i think they had a sign or they were saying that they were midnight run midnight run and they had music playing like a bunch of like pop music and Everyone was cheering them as they walked, like ran by. It was really cool. It was so neat. It was like, and I feel like um, for us, I think where we live, we'd see a, not that many runners, but you'd see more people like running and trying to get their exercise in early in the morning. And I'm not saying that doesn't happen here. It's just like what I thought it was neat that the contrast that I saw was like this late night group mass activity. amount of people. Yeah. It was like a group activity, getting getting active, and it was like I late like at that, night. Because it like tires you out for when you actually do need to go to sleep. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was really we fun. We could have used it last night because <laughs> we did not sleep. So we went to sleep around 10 and then woke up at 2. And now we're still awake from that time. Parker had a really big audition yesterday when we were here and supposed to be sleeping, but it was really exciting and I wanted to talk to him about it and he was like so excited. So I stayed up and I talked to him for like a couple hours after because it was the afternoon for him. And that's one of the reasons why he's still in California was he, ha he has some kind of big things that are just his own stuff that he's doing right now. But it was so exciting that he had that audition. It was like really cool. I don't know that we'll hear anything from it. Usually with auditions, like you don't hear anything after, but it was a really neat experience for him and it was fun talking to him about it. And I was totally fine with staying up till like four in the morning chatting with him about it because it was, he's just, it's really special for him and I'm sad that I missed it. Huge cathedral, it's beautiful. Look at that.
All right, before we get started here, I need to say that I am a fan of the churros you get in America. I really like getting a churro at Disneyland. It's real good. The cinnamon, the sugar, fantastic. These churros are better. Yeah, they're better. They're I... better. Like, yeah. by a lot. I tried one, uh, like, a few bites of one without the chocolate, and it was incredible, too. Yeah. So, it, it didn't have any cinnamon. It was just uh, sugar on top, and then, and you didn't even have to get it with the sugar. You it could get it like, without it. It was like a donut, but better, because it didn't taste like chemicals and too much sugar, and leave you with a stomachache afterwards. And he was making them right there. They were fresh. They were hot. The chocolate was like, it was almost like a... It was a like a pudding. mousse. Yeah, a hot chocolate mousse or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, good. imagine the texture of chocolate mousse. And it tasted like but one hot. too. And it, yeah. It wasn't like just straight chocolate. No, and it, it was... complemented the, the churro like perfectly. And uh, the coffee was good. It was just really good. It Great way amazing. to start your day. Everything. Everything was so good. It's very good. We couldn't walk 10 feet without getting more food. <laughs> That's pretty good. So we are waiting for the chocolate museum to open right now. And in the meantime, we're checking out the, I don't know how it's pronounced here, but it's basically the Arc de Triomphe or Arc of Triumph, this thing here. And then there's this big fairway, this direction. And apparently there's a castle. So we're gonna go try and check out the castle next. It's just so beautiful here. It's like a giant, it's like a giant maze, but you like feel safe here. It's really, it's it's amazing. Everywhere you look, it looks like something you'd see like on a puzzle or something. I think we're going to a chocolate museum, which is gonna be really cool. I'm just like really happy we're here. First off, this is my ticket. This, this is our <laughs> ticket to get in and it's Houdini. What? It's like a Houdini poster, <gasps> Houdini King of Cards. It's meant to be. I know. But also, this it's is chocolate. chocolate. The yeah. ticket to get in is chocolate. You scan I got this. Chocolate too. And then you go in. I feel like <laughs> amazing. And like... you we can eat this, but after uh, the museum. You can't eat it in there. So you don't want no eating chocolate in the museum, but you can use it as a And the tickets to go into this museum were so reasonably priced. The adult ticket was six dollars and it included the chocolate. And the students, which Bailey and Jacob both are, um, was five, $5.10 and euros. and euros. Yes, I'm saying dollars, but convert to euros everything I'm saying. It's a little bit more than $6 when it converts right now at this time in history. Kids zero to six are free. I don't know if they get a ticket though. Very good question. I saw that there was a price for seniors, but I didn't see what it was. I think it was around what the student price was though. When you come in here, it's like, it smells so good. It's like the air is chocolate, it's so good. So there's a lot of like traditional museum exhibits where they talk about like the history of chocolate and how chocolate inspired art and stuff like that and then they've got these beautiful chocolate sculptures on this side that are so intricate and interesting i don't know don't what that it. means i'm guessing it's man of la mancha on luga i don't know what that word yeah. means la mancha <laughs> This one's really 
really cool. It's tinted. I'm really sad Luke isn't here because this is like his favorite thing, like two of his favorite things, elephants and chocolate. This is a chocolate elephant sculpture. It's incredible. And it's like double-sided. Yeah, this side sure looks like the... very futuristic, sort of. I think it, I can't tell, but I think it might have won an award. It's beautiful. World Chocolate Masters 2022. You got the little... Scarab beetles at the bottom too. Rhinoceros beetles. And everything here is chocolate. Like the leather straps and everything are chocolate. Super cool looking. Alright, so we found my favorite chocolate sculpture. It's this Houdini one. These are actual like posters that he used to use. The King of Cards poster, and then this one over here. That one's also iconic. And they've made it look like he's locked in there and he's escaping. So you can see this hand has like a key in it. And then this hand is holding everything up. So all the weight of this chocolate is being held up by that up at the top. So cool. I've always thought this was one of the coolest Houdini posters. And then they've got the handcuff on this side popping out. So cool. It smells so good out here. And this is so neat because they have the whole like school. It's just like a giant chocolate kitchen. And the walls are all glass. So we can look in and see them as they're learning to make these incredible. Like there's like, how many KitchenAids would you say are in there? There's like 30 KitchenAids lined up and they're all learning how to make like these incredible chocolate creations. And it smells so good out here. Time for us to eat our tickets and head out. Best ticket I've ever tasted. It's a pretty tight alley that we're in. I don't think a car could fit through here. There's all these cool little alleyways to explore here. Look, just show it, it's so pretty. We stopped in a vintage clothing store and Bailey oh, got this jacket. We look really matchy together. Like, look at this. You and Bailey? Yeah. Colored. Colored. <laughs> We just took a bus to the top of this hill and we can see the cathedral that we're gonna be going to later, which is back there, right there. I think I'm pointing to it. And uh, we're gonna check out this park up here. Apparently this whole area was meant to be a garden city with different plots of land for wealthy landowners and Gaudi was in charge of designing all the common areas.
All right, right now we're in the plaza. We're going up to one of the best lookout spots where you can see all of Barcelona down to the Mediterranean Sea. What do you think of this place, Bailey? It's beautiful. Everyone behind me is fighting for a chance to take a picture in front of that, that amazing view. So right now we are under the plaza. The plaza is up there. And this whole area was built as like a market. Gaudi designed this to like collect water to water the garden. Because it, it doesn't rain much here, all of these columns channel water from the plaza down into a big like cistern underneath where we're standing right now. We're stopping for lunch here. We're walking from Park Guel to Sagrada Familia. And uh, we're stopping here to eat. Patatas bravas. This smells so good. It has truffle in it. It smells so good. That food was really good. Uh, my tortilla, which is basically an omelet. I know in America we call a tortilla like a flatbread thing. Here, it's like an egg omelet with potatoes. Mine had so much truffle in it, and it was so flavorful and delicious. And I could spend the whole rest of this trip just eating that. Like, can we just can we just that. move in to that, that so restaurant happy. and just eat that this whole time? Yeah. All right. Cool. We've we've made a plan. The rest of uh, all, all the vlogs in this series will be me eating those. Just kidding, Jessica worked really hard booking some tours. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go on a tour right now. Crazy. I cannot believe this was like possible for someone to design this. Like, every window measurement and everything. It's huge. Like, I was not expecting it to be this big. We're getting a guided tour today, and our tour guide has a microphone, and we each get these little receivers and we can listen to our tour guide from more of a distance so we can kind of wander around a little bit more. This place is incredible. Like they're not done with it yet, but I have I've never seen anything like this before. So detailed, so diverse in its like design. I, I, I just can't capture it on camera. It's so cool.
This was a big day. We did a lot. Yes. We did do a lot. We did, a we did lot. churros. We did chocolate. We did some architecture stuff that we saw. This first picture is just of uh, the guy making our churros. His name was Ken. Ken, we love you, Ken. Yes, Ken. And he had a little doll that had the same apron with great. the same name tag on it. Ken. This place was tiny. I don't know if it showed very well on camera, but it, there was only like 10 seats in the entire place. And it, they were all bar seats, so yeah. it wasn't like tables. They were all against the wall. Which was kind of cool. You kind of packed in there, talked with other people. It and, was nice, yeah. Yeah, I liked it. Um, then we went to a chocolate museum, and the coolest part was the ticket. I mean, honestly, there was a lot of cool parts, but I really liked how the ticket was chocolate. Like, you just ate it afterwards. It was great. This is me. It just smelled I, like it, chocolate. It was kind of like at Disneyland. They they actually used this as a, a like a marketing trick at Disneyland. Did you know that? Yes. Where, where they, they pump smells they out. They pump smells out of the, like the the ice cream shops with through the vents. It was like that. But I think Jacob and Jessica were trying to position themselves to wherever the smell was the strongest. Yeah. Yes, it was very good. I found a lot of birds and I took a lot of pictures and they all ended up very grainy, but uh, they were like parrots. I don't actually know what kind of parrots. I They were green. I am actually interested to see your camera roll, Bailey. Because oh, I know, I especially the there, roll. you were like taking a lot of pictures. There's I was one taking picture. a lot of pictures. There's I have one so picture many pictures. of my dad. Well, it's not oh, of my oh, dad. Oh, that's the greatest it's of picture. The architecture, we'll show it but, to you. I will send um, it to you, Dad, and you put it in the video. If you zoom in really far, you can see my dad, and he's doing this like <laughs> action. It looks like he's in a spy movie poster where he's like. Yeah, it's funny though, cause like there's one picture of me looking like a spy, and then you scroll to the next picture, and I look like a dad trying to figure out his camera. <laughs> While we were waiting for our tour to assemble, we started playing TikTok games. And we were playing this somewhat obnoxious game where we're trying to mind meld or... Yeah, or, like yeah. think of the same word. So you go like, one, two, three. Bologna. Apples. Darn it. Apples and bologna, okay. okay. One, one, two, two three. three, bacon. Pizza. pizza. Did we both say we bacon? We did it! We both said bacon, pizza, okay, ready? Pizza. One, One, two, two three, three. Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Ah, oh, you just listen to me and I said did. it afterward. Anyway, that's the game. So we're standing in front of this beautiful cathedral with their phone out going, One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I was filming like this and the guy, every, our tour I guide. suddenly look up and everybody's just staring at us. And our and tour, tour guide's guide like, goes, pay attention. What do you, pay come, attention. I and need I everyone like, over here now. <laughs> It was embarrassing. Sorry. One, two, three, spaceship. Yes. I'm yeah. solving. What did you I'm say, Bailey? NASA. NASA. You guys are so close and yet so far. Anyway, that's it for today. Tomorrow we're gonna go to Girona. So Girona was awesome. Girona yes. was awesome. Girona. Yeah. So you don't want to miss that. Make sure that you're subscribed. Um, it water really does. Water rats. There are some water. Don't give everything away. Oh uh, no, there's there's, there's some... some rodent emerging from the depths of some body of water. Bailey was really excited about going to Girona so that she could kiss the butt of a lion statue. Yeah. And you'll see how that turns out. It's gonna be great. Make sure that you're subscribed uh, so that you don't miss any notifications when we post the next one. Also, it really means a lot to us if you write something in the comment section and like this video. Uh, it may not seem like it does anything, but we do see it and we do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Until next time, thanks for watching. And we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>